I'm still in Chiang Mai at the moment. Just want to give you guys a, a little view of Chiang Mai. Let's get above this roof here. So guys, this is Chiang Mai and it's quite early morning. Um, you know, I'm just up, about to get myself some breakfast actually. Just want to give you guys this little view here. And I was thinking to myself, you know, uh, once I was looking at these mountains here, you know, it does really remind me of Medellin. Um, and I must say, I do love this view of the mountains. Um, now, Chiang Mai is in the north of Thailand, and it's it's quite uh, it's not that well known to the the kind of average traveller, but I suppose to the uh, the more seasoned and people who are in the know, it's uh, it's quite a hidden gem. Um, now, I wish I was actually in this uh, apartment building here, so I'd give you a better view like I was in Medellin. Um, but, I mean, it's in the mountains. Um, I just thought I'd record uh, the mountains with the clouds and everything. The mountains do go up a bit further, actually. But uh, I think that looks beautiful as it is. So, guys, yes, I'm spending about two weeks in Chiang Mai, um, meeting some people you know, and uh, getting on with my businesses and things and doing the tube man thing and after this I'm going to be heading back to the Philippines and Manila uh, as one thing I wasn't uh, giving you guys before was a good street level first person view of uh, on the ground in the Philippines in Manila specifically which is a very nice looking city um, so I didn't get the opportunity last year, but I'll be doing that for you guys this year. So anyway guys, this is Tubeman777, signing out here in Chiang Mai. Bit of a recording for you guys in this hotel I'm in. Okay, going down this time, don't think this one sticks. Here we go. This place really does everything for you. This is Petara Place, and uh, again, it's in the morning, so I'm not fully awake really. But they're lovely people here. This is, I'm still in Chiang Mai actually, um, so there really is something. Okay, guys, this is my Honda PCX. Once, well, actually, it's a 150 to be honest. There you go. My usual PCX in England is a 125, so uh, yeah, I'm just uh, recording in this uh, the hotel uh, kind of underground car park. It's a very nice hotel, I recommend it. Um, I think it's, I believe it's Chinese owned, and I uh, spoke to the owner. He's a very cool guy, you know. Um, and he's saying, yes, there's a lot of development in Chiang Mai and things. So I'm just showing you the bike. Um, it's a newer model, it's actually a newer model than mine. But, um, you know, I do like to hire, rent out bikes, which are, um, which I know, like, for example, these smaller ones, the hotel offered, but, um, I mean, they're just too, one, they're too small for my physique, my actual size. This, the PCX is good for me, and it's just, just, you know, it suits my physical size, and I just know the bike, which gives me an extra layer of security and safety. Um, you know, especially when you don't know the road, so at least you know the bike, you know. Um, <clears throat> overall, the Thai bikers are, um, I believe they're, they're okay, I mean, I can handle the, it's just a different uh, way of thinking on the roads, I mean, you've got a lot of, actually, 16-year-olds, <laughs> it's quite funny, on the bikes, you know, and they, you think they're bad, but, I mean, these guys have been, you can see, like the the parents bring the babies on the bikes to acclimatize themselves to the bikes which is good um but you know so they know their bikes but they take a, a lot more risks than we do in the uk and probably the u in the us as well you us guys would probably see the same thing you know so a tiny little bit little bit more risk taking uh when it's a little bit unnecessary you know but people have got to, go to get to places i suppose but you know if you want to get there faster it's more risk but anyway guys just showing you the bike I've rented for a few days um, let me just say for this kind of bike you can expect to pay um, <clears throat> about 100 pounds so about 150 dollars um, for the month 
okay I got a pretty sweet deal um, uh, because I'm quite good at haggling um, you know and uh, so I got a bit of a discount and you know I showed a bit of respect that's something you should always do uh, especially in the Asian countries especially places like Thailand um, you know if you show a bit of respect and you speak a tiny bit of that language so you go to you can say something like Saudi cap that means hello uh, good morning uh, or good afternoon actually it's just a greeting um, you, you know and you show a bit of respect and you smile and they're willing to give you money off on anything whether you're in, you're in the market or you're renting a bike so anyway guys, this is Tube Man Triple Seven. just talking about, uh, it's just a quick video, talking about bikes and uh, a bit of survival and a few travel tips really. Okay, so guys, uh, I'll see you guys later. So guys, I'm recording on my new Samsung Galaxy S7. And guys, you gotta tell me if you think the quality is better than the previous videos. Uh, both, both audio and visual. Um, I think it should be a hell of a lot better. But, um, it, you know, I've only just recently got this phone. Wonderful, I'm passing the building site as I'm recording, right? Anyway, let me just mention, yeah, so Thais are crazy mad with bikes. They're real, real bikers. Um, you know, I suppose because it's so cheap and affordable, you know, that's one of my reasonings why, uh, you know, everybody really, especially in the UK with our traffic problems, we should be bikers, you know, there should be uh, as many bikers in the UK as there are here, you know, and there's a lot here. But, you know, we love our cars, well, I don't, but most people in the UK love their cars, love their comfort, but it's just not a sustainable uh, situation, you know. I would prefer, well, I do prefer, I prefer a bike over a car. I mean, I wouldn't trade my bike for a car. Um, you know, unless it was like a, uh, one of the new, uh, electric cars, uh, one of the new Teslas, that's got my fancy actually. Um, but I would still keep my bike as a secondary, uh, you know, a secondary vehicle.